Um, this is chapter nine, section 9.4, area of a triangle. And so the formula to find the area of a triangle, typically we've known is described as one half base times the height, where B is the base of the triangle and H is the altitude drawn to that base and then to the other vertex, right? Um, the height is not, if the height is not given or only the lengths of three sides are given, then adjustments need to be made to this theorem in order to find areas of triangles. So here's exploration one. It says in the case of side angle side, so side angle side is given. Um, consider the triangle below. And so if we draw the bases, these two sides are the base and then the height goes to the other vertice. Um, and there's right angles, of course, on both sides. And then it says in general, the theorem above can be used if H can be related to the two sides and the angle we know. Using the rules of right triangles, the measure of angle C is related to side H and side A, the hypotenuse of the right triangle by the sine function. And sine, furthermore, sine of C equals A H. So solve the equation for H to get H equal to A sine C by multiplying both sides of this equation by A. So it says complete the following. If A area equals one half base times height, then you have one half of base times A sine of C since this represents the height. And then you end up with one half AB sine of C. So the relationship is true regardless which vertex of the triangle altitude is dropped. So the area of a side angle side tri uh, triangle is going to be one half the product of the length of the two sides and the sine of their included angle. So it could be AB and then angle C, or it could be BC and angle A, or AC and angle B, okay? Essentially, it doesn't matter whether you drew the height this way or you drew the height that way, or you drew the height um, to the other vertice. All that matters is that um, you're going to, um, it's just going to be a different variation of this, which is going to lead you to the different conclusions here. So let's look at our first example. So example one says the area of a side angle side triangle and so then they give us the two ang the two sides and then the angle that is not given. Okay, so the angle that is between those two sides. So, I mean, I can draw it, but it's not necessary. So if we have A, B, and C, this is C, this is B, and this is A. And this angle has been given to me as 40 degrees. And then B and C are in, um, B and C, A is the angle between B and C. So let's go ahead and use our formula that we have. So we have one half B times C times sine of A, which in this case is one half times eight times five times sine of 40 degrees. And if I type that all in my calculator, I get 12.86. And the computer will usually tell you to round to so many places. This one told me two decimal places, which is why I rounded it to 86 and says, however, when three sides of the triangle are known, the area of the triangles can be found using Heron's theorem formula. So Heron's formula theorem says the area K of a triangle with sides A, B, and C is given by the square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C where S is the semi-perimeter of the triangle. So S equals A plus B plus C, but only half of that, okay? So if I'm given a triangle side, 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 I can still figure it out. The first thing I need to do is figure out S, the semi-perimeter. So then I get um, 19 over two, which is 9.5. And then I can figure out what K is. So K is the square root of 9.5, 9.5 minus 9, 9.5 minus 6, and 9.5 minus 4. And if you enter this whole thing in your calculator, 
and then you round it, you will get 9.56. Again, rounding to two decimal places, but my math labs will specify which place value it wants you to round to. So now we get into some uh, applied problems. So a painter needs to cover a triangular region with sides 24 feet and 18 feet. The angle between these two sides is 100 degrees. So this is a manner of us using this formula. Since I'm not given all three sides, um, that's the formula that I'm gonna use. Multiply the two sides together times the sine of the um, angle between them. And it says round to the nearest 10th of a square foot. So I'm gonna have one half times 24 times 18 times sine of 100 degrees. And if I type that in the calculator, I get a uh, 212.78, which is about 213 square feet. So example four says the painter needs to cover a triangular region with sides 40, 50, and 46. So this is a case where we're given um, all three sides. If each can of paint covers 175 square feet, how many cans of paint are needed? So first I need to figure out how much area is going to be covered. So S is going to equal one half times 40 plus 50 plus 46, which is, uh, if I type that in the calculator, I get 68, right? 23, 25, that's 48 plus 20, 68, yep. And so then K is going to equal the square root of 68 times 68 minus 40 times 68 minus 50 times 68 minus 48. And if I type that in the calculator and I round, um, I get 827.9. Now it did say, so this is how many square feet we're covering um, this triangular region. But since 175 square feet are covered by one can of paint, we're gonna take this number that we found and divide it by 175. We get about 4.73 if you round it. So you will have to buy four cans, but then you're gonna need like almost um, three quarters of another can. So it's best to just buy five cans. So what we'll do is we'll say five cans of paint are needed. Even if you get 4.1, you still need to buy the other can. Otherwise, you're going to have a spot in that region that's not painted. Okay, So you do have to round up regardless of what the decimal is here. You're going to have to round the whole thing up. OK, there's one more example in the homework that isn't covered in this worksheet. And so I kind of wanted to write that down here. And then you can use it for um, some problems. I think it should be 13 and 14, but I'm not sure. But I think that's it. Okay, so this one will give you information about a triangle and then they'll ask you to use this formula to find the area of the triangle form. So you just need to make sure you plug everything in where it belongs. Um, so this one might require us to solve part of, oh no, it won't, because I do have a sign, I do have A, I do have sign, I do have B, I do have A, what I don't have is C. But we do know that A, angle A plus angle B plus angle C should equal 180 degrees. So then this means C should be 90 degrees because 180 minus 70 minus 20 is going to be 90 degrees. So now I do have all the information I need to use that formula. So we get nine squared sine of B, which is 20 degrees, sine of C, which is 90 degrees, all over two sine of A, which is 70 degrees. And if you type that in your calculator, um, let's see, we get a fraction nine squared and then sine of 20, sine of 90. 
over two sine of 70. And let me make sure I'm in degree mode. Yes, I am. So I can hit um, Oops. Looks like it turned my camera off. Okay, there we go. So let me focus. There we go. So then I get, for some reason my calculator is not in focus, but I do end up with the two decimal places is 14.74. And so that would be the area of this particular triangle.